My mom was pointing out that these arrows indicate that you, wh which direction to put it with the nap, with the you know when you're cutting it out. Okay, now this uh, this piece is cut too. We're not cutting them on the fold, but because we have to cut two, we're kind of putting them on top of each other anyway. And um, and another thing my mom always said to me be careful of is your right and left things that. Uh, well, I don't. Let, let's say, okay, you're cutting out your thumb, or not your thumb, but you're. Let's say you're cutting out like this hand as a pattern. Well, you don't want to put if you're having like a right and a left. You would put, you know, you cut out that, and then the other side would be like this, you know. But if you, you know, if you would take this, this was their pattern, and you didn't flip it over, then you would do this, then you would have. The th one would have the thumb on the right side, the wrong side. These little so. tiny pieces are hard to sew. Uh, we cut the bottom, you know, we didn't keep the fold because we don't need it th as a fold. And, uh, so there's that well, one. So we're setting up the sewing machine. I've cut out all my pieces and I'm thinking I'm getting ready to sew. Uh, the instructions on the thing are on the back here, and they say for dress A, hem upper bo edge of bodice front, baste wrong side of over bodice front to right side of bodice front, having raw edges even. I have no idea what that means, so I'm hoping Mom can explain it to me. What I'm going to do is that since she has a lace over bodice, mm -hmm. and this is an under piece that's like a slip, Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew this piece first to to make it smooth because this is her her breast cover. And then what they're having you do is sew the bottom part which is like the slip or the part so that the lace isn't see-through over underneath the lace piece. Okay. And apparently what they're doing is is that they're having you do that before you put the darts and then you'll put the darts together. You'll put okay. the piece. Okay. So here's your white thread and I'm probably going to need you to... Oh yeah. Well normally the white thread is... They have it in a tab at the yeah right so the you've got that do you have your scissors out uh they're right over here all right so you're gonna take this off and take this is the old one it seems to have gotten and Nowadays with nowadays with um, needles, you want to make sure you have the right size needle. This is for a big. She's using some silk. This is for a medium size weight fabric. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out that needle. And we're going to put in a lighter fabric needle. Hopefully it works. This is a Kenmore machine. And I have to get my things at Sears. So, now we're going to thread the bottom, the bobbin. And here comes Mr. Ham with his... Here comes the kitty to show us how to do things. And get his best side. Okay. <laughs> now sometimes they tell you with the uh, bobbins that you have to thread one on one side and so that this is facing a different way mm -hmm. but I haven't found that that's all that 
important. Um, the bobbin it has a little singer thing here, mm -hmm. and we're going to put it right through this hole. If I can see the hole, and if I can't, Jessica's going to do it, and I'm going to hold the camera. Sometimes it's hard when there's thread oh. on it. Yeah, it looks like there's like several holes, isn't there? Yeah, oh, but no. you can't always... Okay, um... You need me to do it? No, what we might have to do is this. We're going to have to undo, and this might take a minute. Okay, well, we'll take a look at the kitty smelling the library books. Mm -hmm. He always gets a lot of joy out of... Uh, the okay, now you can see the little singer. You want to do it on the top. All right, there's a hole. There's also little dimples. Okay. And so we're going to put it through. Try it again. And we get it through. You're going to loop it around this area. Uh, the, that this area. thing here. You're going to put it on there, push this little, uh, push this to hold it, pull out that to stop the needle going up and down, and step on the thing to thread the bottom bobbin. You want it about three quarters of the way. I'd be getting nervous to think that this was a car and the brakes sounded like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you cut it. You pull out this part. You pull out this part so it and cut it so it doesn't get and then oh there. Then what you do is you put the bobbin in this way and you pull this out or through that hole, put it that way. Okay. Now different then okay, now you're gonna thread this. Thread it this way, go down around here, up through here, and this side, and then you're going to put this through the hole. And the needle. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the more delicate the fabric, the smaller the needle, the smaller the needle hole. Okay. You pull this up. Mm -hmm. If you haven't pushed that in, you do it. How do you pull that up and down, by the way? Uh, uh, oh, on the it? side. Now, oh, okay. they're going to be different according to what what kind of sewing machine you have. They're basically the same. Okay, and you put it in, you push that in. You roll this around, yeah, and you bring the loop up. And that brings them to where you pull out enough and put it to the back, the thread, and you put this back. Okay, on these you make sure that the widths are right. It's six point, I usually leave it at 6.5. To do a straight stitch, you usually have the length at two and you have the this at seven. Mm -hmm. If you, these are all the things and the numbers for this machine. Okay. So that's it for that. Okay. okay. So sh you might want to stop for a minute.